What's up everyone? It's Alex here from Bass Bites Fishing. I'm finally bringing you guys a Tampa video. No matter how many fish I catch today and what I catch today, this is going up on YouTube because you guys deserve to see a Tampa video. Um, I got here almost two weeks ago um, and I've just been mostly busy with just like just like work and stuff like that. Um, I've done a little bit of fishing, nothing really all that spectacular. I've actually seen a few tarpon, which is, which is really cool. Um, obviously we didn't catch any or else I would show you. But um, basically the place right by um, my college, uh, the, the spots are okay. They're not really all that great. Lots of saltwater catfish. So I took a scooter down um, a little south and I'm gonna look for some flats. It says there's some flats right over here close to shore. So we're gonna try to fish those. Um, I'm still looking for my first game fish down here, um, whether that be snook, sea trout, tarpon, um, redfish, anything besides a catfish really, or a pinfish or something like that. So we're gonna see if we can get it done. Um, no live or dead bait today. We're rocking with um, lures only. Um, so that always adds to the challenge a little bit. But I think it'll give us a better chance at actually catching one of those game fish. It's about 3.30 right now. Um, it's pretty hot. But uh, the goal is to be fishing into the evening. So hopefully uh, we'll get a bite going, find some fish. Lots of wind today. The water looks pretty choppy. Uh, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Let's go out there and catch some fish, hopefully. I'll see you there. I'm going all in this afternoon. I think I'm gonna make the trek all the way down to the place I wanted to go from the beginning. Um, it's about two miles away. Uh, I took the scooter about two and a half miles. Um, so walking shouldn't be so bad. Um, and I can't really Uber because um, a lot of times they don't allow you to bring fishing rods in the car. So it's not a big deal. Walk down here. There might be another scooter we can pick up to go on the way back. But uh, I want to go down to the spot because uh, I think it'll give us our best chance. I'm just looking for any sort of signs um, that there's fish around. Looking to see if there's birds, any breaking fish, just anything really. Um, but basically, as I was saying, the area we're going to um, is a big flat and it's low tide. So it could be uh, some, uh, some good fishing down there. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. And uh, I figured I'd just tie on here. We're not to where I wanna be fishing. But um, basically, we're just going to be starting out with a little just gulp swimming mullet. I read that this is one of the best things to use in terms of saltwater lures. So we're going to be throwing it. Just going to let you guys know now, I know basically nothing about saltwater fishing, um, especially with lures. So it's definitely going to be a learning experience for me. Huh? Nothing yet. You got water? You want one? I'm good. Thank you. Damn! We had a fish on, guys. I don't know if you saw that. Mm. 
Damn. Wasn't even paying attention. Shit. The GoPro definitely got it. Couldn't necessarily tell what it was. Oh, Alex, that's what you get for not paying attention. I think the GoPro got it. Thought I was just stuck on a rock or something. We're almost at the spot I wanted to be at. I decided I would stop here because of all the, uh, the rocks and such. Whatever that was, just hammered the bait. If I had to guess, it was either a big mackerel or it was a bluefish. It had a very torpedo-like body. Oh, and that would have been my first real fish out here. Well, it looks like we're here at the flats. I think normally the water is a lot clearer. Right now it's just a big pile of mud. Oh my gosh, a sea turtle. I have zero idea if you guys can see that. There's a baby sea turtle right there. Baby sea turtle. Okay, that's freaking awesome. Wow, we hooked the sea turtle, guys. Thankfully, he came off. Oof. You gotta move, little buddy. I was actually thinking about that in my head. I don't know what I was gonna do if I hooked into the sea turtle. Luckily, he came off pretty easily. up over here is where I lost it. <laughs> oh my god! Just snapped me off. No wonder he's sitting there, this little... I quit. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Another snook. Same exact area where I caught that last one, and I know why now. There's a little drainage pipe, and he was sitting right in there. I felt the thump, so I stopped, and then I thought I snagged, was snagged, so I went and brought it up and I'm snapped off. That was 100% a snook, I saw its head. I just, I don't know what to say right now. That sucks, that fish was definitely hooked. I'm gonna have to take a closer look at the line to see if we snapped off or if the knot came undone. I honestly can't tell. It's 20 pound braid. So it's not like it's going to go that easily. Alright, there's only one thing we can do is get back out there. Let's do it. Well. 
I'm gonna stay out here as long as possible now. I've, I've got to get one, man. I'm, I'm coming so close. And it bugs me because that snook had the bait. It's probably sitting in his mouth right now. There's we got. There's one. There's a snook, baby. First snook ever. First snook ever, baby. Oh no, he's going into the, the sewer. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is crazy. Please stay on. I don't know how I'm gonna get him up here. No, come on, get out of there. That is a big snook. Just gotta tire him out. Oh, yeah, nice snook. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You think you can get a picture for me? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Awesome. Thank you. Man, I've broken off about three of them today. Really? Yeah. Right off here, basically? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Let me get a wh length of this guy real quick. You've been out here all day? Yeah, since about like 12. The first one you got, So what I'm doing is, here let me measure him first. 25 inches I'm trolling the uh, the uh, the whole I'm just walking down with the jig right behind there. me yeah and I'm just waiting for them to come up and take it, it up a yeah all right guys my first ever snook thank you for helping me out and uh, we're gonna let her go real quick 25 incher boom let's go baby Go baby, it feels so good. Ah, oh. okay. Time to go over what we're doing, and then we'll, we got a long way back. We got to fish a long way back. So that was a, a nice 25-inch snook caught off of uh, Bayshore Boulevard, Tampa Bay. Um, using a Pen Battle Three, I believe this is a seven-foot medium, um, half-ounce jig head. And then the famous gulp swim and mullet. And what I've been doing, I actually uh, wanted to go down to the flats. That was my, that was my place. That's where I was gonna fish all day today, going down to the flats. And uh, on my way down, I was just trolling the bait. I'm dropping the bait down, and then I'm just walking, so I can fish while I walk, pretty much. Um, well, that's what I've been doing. I've been getting bites. I've been breaking off. I've been losing fish. And then finally, I came down here, broke off here. So then I just decided I'm gonna cast around 
and uh, I caught that guy about, I'd say about 10 yards offshore out there where he bit. There's a uh, drainage pipe right here, and uh, I bet that's where a lot of these fish like to hang out, so. Nice drainage pipe. Um, it is low tide right now, it's becoming low tide. So I had to pull this guy up pretty far. Um, the release was good. Um, dropped him in face first, so he should be fun. And I'm not seeing him floating anywhere. So uh, we're good there. Um, I think I'm gonna invest in a drop net, especially if I'm gonna be coming here a lot more because um, there are bigger fish down here. And um, I just wanna make sure I release them safely. So I'm gonna invest in that. Um, but yeah. Swimming mullet, white, and then the, the half ounce jig head. And I'm really, really happy. Um, took about an hour travel time, probably more, to uh, get down here. I've still got a very long way to go. The city's all the way over there. That's where I actually have, um, that's where my college is. And uh, I don't have a car or anything. So I'm gonna probably walk halfway and then hop on a scooter and take that halfway. But um, I'm, I'm so excited right now. Uh, super, super awesome. I've been down here about a week and a half, two weeks, um, and I've really been struggling. And uh, to catch a fish like that, um, after really coming out here today and trying to learn the waters, um, it, it just feels fantastic. And I, th I think we're gonna be able to get a few more, or at least one more of any type of fish. Um, I'm gonna cast around here a bit more, see if there's another snook hanging out. Um, but you know, my combo handled that perfectly. My line handled that perfectly. Um, that man who was riding by, very, very helpful. He happens to be watching this video. Um, thank you very, very much. Really uh, a key player in uh, catching my first ever snook. Again, I'm just, I'm ecstatic right now. I think I'm gonna call it there, guys. I could do a lot more fishing out here, but uh, I'm honestly pretty tired. We've got a long way back. Um, gotta get some dinner or something. But uh, wow, I'm, I'm glad I came out here and grinded it out. It wasn't easy, but uh, we got the snook. Um, and now I know what to do and where to come. Uh, what conditions we got. So that's just awesome. Whew. We're figuring it out. But um, thank you all for watching. Make sure to continue to like, comment, and subscribe for more snook videos or uh, whatever else we can catch down here. So I'll see you guys next time on Bass Bites Fishing. Bye guys.